What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm making this video for all of my emulator lovers. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a free version of the Nintendo DS, PSP, Game Boy Color, as well as Movie Box, all emulators on the latest iOS 8.3 and 8.2 firmwares. Now this is a no jailbreak method. Of course, there's no jailbreak for the newest version, so you can install it without a jailbreak, and that is free. Now I'm gonna be showing you two things in this video. That's the free portion, and I'm gonna be showing you a paid portion of the video as well, where you guys can get all of those emulators on their newest versions as well as a Game Boy Advance emulator and a couple other ones as well. So using the free version, you can get everything but the Game Boy Advance emulator. And on the paid version, you can get the Game Boy Advance emulator as well as the newest version of everything else. It just works a little bit better. So it's really simple. I'm gonna be going through this process on my iPhone 6 Plus and let me just confirm it is running the latest iOS 8.3 firmware. As you guys can see right here, 8.3, cool. And I have 8.2 over here on my 6 Plus. I'm gonna be doing the free version on this guy and the paid version on this one. So first off, I just wanna go through these, show you that they are working and how they work on my iPhone 6 Plus. So first off, I just wanna make a quick disclaimer. I have to say this to you guys, do not watch any movies that you don't own personally. Don't download any games that you guys don't own in the physical format. It's just a disclaimer, I have to say that now. Over here, now Movie Box, as you guys know, it's like uh, Netflix for pirates. It's, you know, all the movies, all the TV shows that you could ever want, all here. And this is working on the free and paid versions, so there's no difference there. Now over here, Nintendo DS Emulator, it does work great. I've got a Pokemon Black version loaded right here. Just want to give you guys a little demo of uh, what it's like. Frame rate is actually really good on my iPhone 6 Plus, and the newer your device, the better it will perform. On iPad Air 2, that's the most powerful device, it'll run the best. The audio is good, overall, frame rate is decent definitely playable and of course I'll show you guys the optimal settings at the end so uh, you guys can get the best experience out of this so um, there you go new game I haven't set this one up but it is working as you guys can see the Nintendo DS emulator does work fine and the display on the iPhones makes for a very good experience over here Game Boy Advance emulator just want to show you guys this one here Pokemon Leaf Green and this is being my favorite emulator. It works so great. I love the haptic feedback when pressing on the buttons. It feels really nice. And this is probably the best emulator out there. It works the best, has the best selection of games in my opinion. So anyways, here's this. Uh, just starting out, I haven't been playing this at all, but overall it's awesome. I mean, it works great. And that's the Game Boy Advance one. So there is the PSP emulator. I haven't loaded any games on this one. You know, they're huge. So I don't have the opportunity to show you guys games running on this guy, but they do work and they do work well. Let's go ahead and begin. First off, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Movie Box, the free version. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this guy. And guys, actually, before I continue, I just wanna put a link right here. I'm gonna have the full write-up for all of these emulators, ways to get the games and the full troubleshooting list right there or down below in the description. Make sure to click on that. In the article, I'll have everything you guys need. I'll basically summarize everything up and put a couple additional steps in there to make it simple for you. I know this can be quite complicated, so be sure to check that out for the full guide, full troubleshooting, and all the websites and downloads and the ways to get ROM, stuff like that in there. First thing that you guys need to do is open up Safari and you guys should go to vshare.com. So in here, you wanna download the free version. It'll go ahead and ask you if you wanna accept. And I already do have this installed, so I don't need to do that. So in here, you guys can go ahead and click in here and search for movie box. So this isn't something everybody's gonna want, but I just wanna show you guys how to do this really simple. So you will find it in here. Anyways, it takes a while to load, but anyways, you're gonna click in here and select the download. And once it does complete downloading, it'll ask you to install inside of here. So make sure to stay here while it does download. And then you guys will get movie box. So this is, I think the almost newest version. You guys don't need to update or anything. It works great and you can get it absolutely free without a jailbreak. Now, the method for getting the Nintendo DS emulator and PSP emulator is really simple on uh, this guy as well, non-jailbroken. Just go to iemulators.com. Click on this guy, and boom. So we're in here, we're gonna go to apps, and here, this is pretty much everything you can install. These don't work on the latest version, fortunately. So you can only get Nintendo DS and PSP right here, the old version. Now the reason I would use the paid method for the PSP emulator is because on the free version, it does work. However, it's small. It's not updated for the six plus screen. It'll work good on all other devices, just not on the latest iPhone six plus. So you don't get the latest version of that, but it does work. You can play PSP games and I'm just gonna 
show you guys real quick for the Nintendo DS emulator. It's a really simple download. All you have to do is click inside. You'll go ahead and click install and it'll install for you guys. Now you can install the Nintendo DS emulator from vShare, but the newest version is found over here on iEmulators.com. So that's the free version, guys. Using this method, you guys can get the PSP emulator, Nintendo DS emulator, as well as Movie Box and a few others as well. So that's pretty much it. Really simple, free version. Now if you guys want to pay the extra, it's a $10 fee once a year, and it's per device, so you can't share it with other devices. You guys can enroll in a subscription service to get all of these, no matter what firmware. Game Boy Advance emulator on the latest 8.3 firmware, as as well as almost the newest versions for all of these guys. So it's really simple. All you guys have to do is head over to builds.io and in here you guys can enroll your device. After it's been enrolled, you do have to download a certificate and then you can install any of these. Now, uh, let me just show you real quick how simple it is installing anything. I've got all of these, let's see. Super Nintendo. So let's say I wanna go in here. All you have to do is click install and you do have to stay on this page. It will load inside of here and it'll ask you to install, just click install. And as simple as that, it'll begin installing on your device. So for the second portion of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install games on every single one of these. Obviously movie box, that's something else, but for the emulators, I'll be showing you how to install games for them. So uh, real quick on Game Boy Advance, all you guys have to do is, let me just return to menu real quick. In here, they added this little search function. It's really simple. You guys just head over to MU Paradise right here, that's the, best one to uh, find ROMs on and then scroll down and you find your Game Boy Advance ROMs right here. So it's really simple for the Game Boy Advance. It's the most simple of them all. Just click on this guy, scroll down to the link, click on that guy. And once again, so it could take a, a little moment to download. Just give it a couple seconds. It'll warn you guys that you, uh, they don't condone pirating and go ahead and save that. So there's your progress bar and boom, we have this ROM, super simple, super fast. That's why I say this is my favorite one. They made downloading ROMs really easy, it works great. So uh, anyways, for Nintendo DS, it is still simple and this is the method for all of these, by the way. It's very simple. All you guys have to do is head over to Safari. Now go to muparadise.mobi. This is the mobile version. And then you guys wanna scroll to the Nintendo DS ROMs right here. And then uh, find one that you own, you wanna download. Let's say I wanna get Golden Sun Dark Dawn. All right, so we're gonna scroll and do the same thing. We're gonna click the download link over here. And again, back to that link, wherever it is. Man, they hide it among these ads. So you guys wanna wait here. I mean, depending on your internet connection, this could take a while. Nothing will happen, that's how it is. This is the easiest way to get the ROMs onto your device without the need of a computer. So you guys will just click on that. It might take you know a minute, two minutes, depending on your internet connection. And eventually you will pop up a prompt asking you where to open this file. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the Nintendo DS emulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait a couple minutes. And once this is uh, finished up, I'll be right back. And guys, of course, I just wanna mention when when there is a free way to do this on Game Boy Advance or the other ones for the newest versions, I will show you guys that method. But for now, Apple's making it very difficult. They're patching all their certificates. So it's hard to get these emulators on a non-jailbroken device, but it is still possible. And to do it for free is even harder. But of course, I will try and keep you guys updated. So anyways, uh, yeah, once this is done, I'll be right back. All right, so without doing anything, staying on that page, this is the prompt that you will get. It'll ask you where you wanna open the file. I wanna select the uh, Nintendo DS emulator right here. So in a second here, it's gonna load over to the Nintendo DS emulator. Don't touch it, you know, it's just doing its thing for now. Give it a couple minutes and there we go. So now it's gonna open up in the Nintendo DS emulator and simple, just like that, we've got this game without ever having to touch a computer. Really simple, um, just to show you guys, the game is working. There you go, so it's loading. Cool, and there you go, so it is working. Now I just wanna to talk to you guys about the uh, optimal settings. So let's go over here and go to settings. So for this guy, I'd like to keep it at frame skip one or two. Auto works for some games, not for all of them. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of a judder. And over here is your control scheme. And there it is, just about that. So just keep frame skip on one and two. Game Boy Advance emulator, you don't really need to do that. Now, if you guys wanna install games on the PSP emulator, it's actually quite a process. So I'm gonna leave the link right here or down below in the description to actually every emulator that I am showing you guys. I'm gonna summarize it up there and have troubleshooting as well as ways to get games for the PSP emulator. It's really simple, just click right there or down below in the description. I will have the full guide, but this does work as well 
free and non-free version. And of course you do have the movie box right there. So guys, that's just about it. These are the latest and greatest emulators working on iOS 8.3 and 8.2. Of course, I'm trying to keep you guys updated on all of these. It's just hard. Apple's making it very difficult, but when a free version for Game Boy Advance comes out, I will be sharing that with you guys as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned a thing or two and installed some of these great emulators on your device. Have a great day. Peace.